thighs at the center point. Make sure you're squeezing the shoulder blades at the back right here. Everything's nice and tight, really, really squeezing all the way through the body. Exhale, inhale on the down. Notice everything's saying nice and tight. I'm squeezing my glutes really, really tight. Right, my neck's not back here, it's not up here. Eyes are right up at that center point. Okay. Turn around for push-ups. Everything stays the same. You're gonna keep everything nice and tight, right? So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze everything all the way through. Neutral spine. Exhale right here. Coming up on 10. There's 10. We got five more. Two more. Last one coming up. For these, you're just going to hold on to one handle, and I want you to watch the way I incorporate my T-spine into this and also do a high knee at the end, okay? So I'm going to grab this up a little bit higher, wrap it around so that I, I can get really long with my lunge, right? And watch that high knee right here. Okay, when you step back, you're going to turn and look, all right? Come back, high knee. Step back, turn and look. Look with your head, look at your back hand, and then get real high. Front leg's doing all the work. Front leg is um, controlling you on the way down and it's also powering you back up. So push that front leg, push that heel through the floor and really make this your prime worker, okay? Yes, three more. and we're just going to switch hands, grabbing it up high, turning it around, right? So remember when you, when you lunge back, you're going to look behind you, get really long. My back knee, you can't see it, but my back knee is touching the floor. Front leg is all, is the worker. Return to center point right here. Four more. And that's your first circuit. Do that three times through. Take a two minute break. Make sure you go through that three times through. You can take between 30 seconds to a minute in between circuits. But then when you do that three times through, make sure you take a two minute break before you go, go on to the second circuit. We're gonna start with bicep curls for circuit two. I want you to pay attention to the angle of my hands. I'm going to try to keep my fist at my eye level as best I can. 
Everything's nice and tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the way through. Booty's nice and tight. Quads are nice and tight. Everything's really firm. And the only angle that I want to move is the elbow joint, if at all possible. Try not to let your shoulder joint hinge at all, okay? Coming up on 10, got five more. I stay at the anchor point. Last one. All right, same rules apply with the tricep press up. You want your whole body to be nice and tight. And again, you only want the elbows to be the only joint that's moving. Give me a second to change the camera just a second here. So you can see my hands a little better. All right. This is like you flying away like you're superwoman, okay? Press up into the sky. Up. Press up. There's five. We got five more. Last one. Okay, there's that finish, like Superwoman, okay? Last exercise of the second circuit. I'm gonna change that camera angle again. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. I just didn't wanna have to Stop the camera and start the recording again. All right. As you know with these, the further this band is away from the prime joint, the harder it's gonna be. I have this just below my knees. Okay. But you can move it lower if you want to. All right. So one leg is gonna stay stationary, okay? Roll those shoulder blades back and make sure you're stepping through your heels every rep. So this stationary leg, I'm gonna drive my heel through the floor. And then when I do that lateral step with a squat, I'm gonna make sure I drive that right leg through the floor too. And then when I come up, I'm gonna push through this heel. My back's gonna stay straight. So it's gonna look like this straight down. I'm keeping my shoulder blades nice and tight. Okay, let's go for 15 per leg. Roll those shoulder blades back. Stay tall. Keep your back straight. And don't let this return to normal, right? Keep Keep some resistance in that band the whole time. So don't let it get loose. Stop right here so where you can still feel some resistance, okay? Careful not to lean forward. Don't lean forward. We're gonna sink straight down in. Roll those shoulder blades 
Keep the shoulder blades pinned back. Two more. Okay, now we're gonna come over here. Now the right leg's gonna be stationary. Left leg's the worker. Roll those shoulder blades back. Eyes in the horizon. Push out through the heels. Squeeze that booty at the top. Five more. Last one. All right. And again, forgive me for not doing this more professionally. I'm gonna move the camera one more time. And we're gonna do our gas pedal break. Okay, we're gonna go for a 30 count. My shoulder blades are off, but they're not rounded. So I cinch my shoulder blades and I make sure that my core is flat. So the lumbar, the lower back is pushed into the floor. If you notice, I'm doing a slight crunch every time I push and pull. There's 10. And there's 15. Rest for a couple seconds. About a 10 second break. And then we got 15 more. Okay, shoulder blades are nice and squeezed, but they're off the mat. And your lumbar is pushed all the way into the floor. Crunch. Gas pedal brake crunch. Three more. All right. Thank you for bearing with me while I get back to this. This is my first workout since March 6th and I'm exhausted, I'm out of breath. I'm definitely out of shape, but that felt amazing. I'm so excited to be able to get the okay from the doctor to start doing this again. I just have to keep my heart rate at 143 or below. So remember, do those circuits three times through. It should take you about 20 minutes and give me any feedback that you have. I'm happy to help. Take good care.